You know, here on the program, we strive to keep things classy, but today we're gonna keep things classy. We are at New Soul Glassworks, and we're gonna show you how this beautiful art is made. One of the first things that I like talk to people about when they're actually learning how to blow glass is to just keep in mind that you're going to learn a lot of patience. Okay, it's gonna be really frustrating, and most importantly, don't get attached to anything that you make, because for the first couple years that you're learning to blow glass, those pieces often hit the ground. That's glass blowing expert, Ali Fonda, who will be our glass guide today. She is just one of the teachers at New Soul Glassworks. Ali says it can take years to master the art of glass blowing. But no need to worry, if you come in as a beginner, she has you covered. We do all the really complicated things, so we really facilitate that. We make sure that you know how to be safe, how, and what step is coming next, because it's, there's so many steps, it's impossible to remember them all until you like really come and do it for a while. After a quick lesson, they're actually going to let us try our hand at blowing glass. Today we are going to be making something called a witch's ball or fairy orb. We're going to make a sun catcher that'll have a bunch of little strands of glass in there. And what that does is it traps all the evil spirits or the fairies so that they can live in this little world that you created. With that, we were ready to get to work. And of course, safety first. These gas-powered furnaces clock in at more than a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. We put on our protective equipment while Allie gathered a ball of molten glass on a long metal pipe. The next step in this process is to create a perfect sphere. I tap, tap, tapped away, providing the hot air as usual. And while that was happening, Allie and I used a wooden tool that was soaked in cool water to create the sphere. Now this is where the fun really started. With a sharp tool, we stabbed holes in our sun catcher. Allie told us to trust the process and that this would make the final design extra special. Not gonna lie, that was a little violent. Remind me not to mess with you, Jen. After the stabbing was done, Allie took a blowtorch to the orb, and with one crack, our creation was freed from the metal pole and ready to go into a kiln where it would harden. It's almost hard to describe how fascinating that is in person, to, to when, when it's molten. I don't know what that is about the... It's mesmerizing. It is. That's exactly it. It you is can't mesmerizing. Take your eyes off can't of it because, do it. Because it's moving too. I mean, it's almost like a living thing. It's alive. It, feels like it's alive. it is alive. It's alive. Look this, at your. This is my fairy orb. Look at your fairy yes, orb. Yes, look how beautiful that is. It is beautiful. See all the little lines that she was talking about. So the, many evil spirits around spirits. here to capture. <laughs> Seriously, I'm surprised yes. it's got room. It's very, very cool. And we didn't get a chance to show, but you made something too. And look how beautiful yours is. This is a floppy bowl. Now, <laughs> I was not, I didn't do nearly as much as Jen did in the process. There was no stabbing. There was no, there was well, just a lot of more complex look, maneuvering. And, and thank goodness they, they were willing to um, do most of the work with this one because it, it really is quite a process to, to watch. And if you were not as experienced, I, there's no way I could have done this by myself. There's just, and, and that's the thing that makes it nice when you go out there. Right. They will, they'll kind of help you through well, the process, I mean, and they which have is classes. really cool. So I think we have their website yes. up and you can check out all the different classes. They have them every month. But for Mother's Day, you can see they're doing these all rose sorts of different paperweights things. Yeah. that you can make. You can um, do different things like a pendant. They, they have art pieces that you could do and they help you again along the way if you right. are not experienced at this they will help you but you could make your mom something special you know yeah and special shout out to new soul by the way because we did this uh, boy several months ago yeah. at this point and have just fortunately had the opportunity between some stuff that happened in our system and we were waiting for the show really to launch before we could show this because we recorded this before arc cincinnati launched uh in the format that you are seeing here and we wanted yeah. their piece to be part of it so Thanks for uh, hanging tough with us until we can get this done and for you. And they have an incredible shop. If you don't have time to go take a class right now, maybe you oh, want to get something for Mother's Day. It's or so... It's also Teacher Appreciation Week, Nurse Appreciation Week. There's all kinds of things. They have handmade little figurines. They have a beautiful shop full of stuff. Um, jewelry. And, they have all kinds of stuff. And you want to talk about a place where you feel like you can get something that you... You, you will not genuinely find can't find anywhere yeah. else. Uh, that that's the kind of place to go. So it was it was really neat. Uh, if you've ever been just sort of fascinated or as Jen said mesmerized by the idea of that sort of liquid glass, 
Highly recommend going out there to going check out it out. To Newsome, yeah. yeah, it was really cool. It was very cool. Evil spirits, catch it, catch the evil spirits, catch it. And in my floppy bowl, I will, I will serve up only floppy things, <laughs> only, only floppiest <laughs> things for this bowl. I'll okay. tell you that much right now. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.